One of the most commonly asked questions we get is what does the canard do? The canard improves the performance and safety of the airplane in a number of areas. The first thing is the canard is a lifting surface. It generates lift. That lift augments the wing lift. In turn, that lowers the stall speed, reduces the takeoff and landing distances. But it's also important as to where the canard is lifting, its location. Because an airplane in level flight has a lot of aerodynamic download pushing down on the horizontal stabilizer and the tail to balance the airplane. Well, that download on the tail is also dead weight that the wings have to support. So consequently, when the canard lifts, it's good, but as it lifts on the nose, it takes a corresponding amount of download off the tail, so it really doubles up the lift coefficient, and now you've got more lift to do something productive with, like slower takeoff and landing shorter distances. The other thing the canard does is it allows you to fly slow and stay in a very, very safe flat attitude. It's not like other aircraft that are way behind the power curve with high angles of attack. Um, if you look at our, our, some of our videos, you'll see the airplanes coming off the ground, say in the low 30 knot range usually. As soon as you come off the ground, you just simply release a little back pressure and the airplane will just automatically rotate to kind of a nice safe flat attitude at about 45 knots. Well, at 45 knots in a flat attitude, a whole bunch of things occur. The first thing is, is at 45 knots, if you have an engine failure, you can make a safe landing because you're ahead of the power curve. The, another thing that happens is because you're flat, the stalling angle of attack is still relatively high at about 18 degrees, so you've got a tremendous amount of stall resistance in the airplane. Another thing that occurs is because you're flat, the air over the top of the wing is clean, so the ailerons work really well and you can maneuver. All th these things occur because of the canard. And we also found that on wind tunnel testing, the canard generates as much pitch authority as the elevator on the tail at an approach speed of 45 knots. So we all know that sky lanes have a tendency to bang up nose gears because the elevator is relatively ineffective at slow speeds. This kind of addresses that issue. This gives us a lot more pitch authority at slow speed, so the danger of banging up a firewall is, is really reduced. Um, at the same time, the canard reduces about two-thirds of the pressure on the control wheel required for a flare. Control wheel pressures are kind of heavy in a skyline, kind of ponderous. Ailerons aren't too bad, elevators kind of heavy. So it's, it's like power steering in a, in a car. The canard relieves about two-thirds of the pressure required in the flare, so for a third the pressure you're getting about twice the pitch authority, and that allows you to fly with your fingers rather than your arms gives you a lot more finesse. Another area of improvement is the canard removes a lot of the weight from the nose gear. So it allows us to go in and out of areas that would normally be way too rough or way too soft for a tricycle gear airplane. Same thing in an emergency landing. It takes a lot of the weight off the front end so we don't have to worry, worry nearly as much about, about damaging the nose wheel. So with all that said, all that comes from the canard, and I'll guarantee you, in addition to having a lot more fun, you're going to have a lot more safety.